As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And the Lord be with you. Welcome to this, our Holy Mass, on Monday, the fourth week of Lent. Mass today is being offered for the intentions of Nellie MacDonald, Remembrance, Sharon Courtney, Remembrance, John Blackmore, Remembrance, and Fenton Murphy, Remembrance. And indeed, we offer this Mass for all of you out there who are viewing this Mass for all of your holy intentions. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, and therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renewed the world through mystery beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your Church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And we now listen to God's Word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, now I create new heavens and a new earth, and the past will not be remembered, and will come no more to men's minds. Be glad and rejoice forever and ever, for what I am creating, because I, have crea because I now create Jerusalem joy, and her people gladness. I shall rejoice over Jerusalem and exult in my people. No more will the sound of weeping or the sound of cries be heard in her. In her no more will be found the infant living a few days only, or the old man not living to the end of his days. To die at the age of a hundred will be dying young. Not to live to be a hundred will be the sign of a curse. They will build houses and inhabit them, plant vineyards and eat their fruit. This is the word of the Lord. The response is, I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O oh Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. Response. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. Sing psalms to the Lord. You who love him, give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favour through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. Response, I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me, you have changed my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord, my God, I will thank you forever. Response, I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. The Gospel Acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus left for Samaria in Galilee. And he himself had declared that there is no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum. And hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from the Jordan, he went and asked him to come and cure his son, as he was at the point of death. Jesus replied, So you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. So replied the official, Come down before my child dies. Go home, said Jesus, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way. But while he was still on the journey back, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. The fever left him yesterday, they said, at the seventh hour. The father realised that that was exactly the time when Jesus had said, Your son will live. And he and all his household believed. And this was the second sign given by Jesus on his return from Jordia to Galilee. This is the Gospel of the Lord. At this given time of crisis, many, many people have realised that there is a need to return to God and to what God represents at this time. There is a great need of prayer. And here at the Augustinian, we are very, very happy about one of the things which we offer our own visitors here in the church. That is our cross here on my left, the cross which is a cross which represents praying for and being prayed for by others. Most crosses have two sides, a front and a back. In the front you have the passion of God, of Christ, his suffering and pain on the cross. But on the reverse side, you have an empty cross. And this empty cross represents the triumph of Christ over death and over evil. And this particular cross which we have here has little pegs which people, when they want to pray for somebody, they will take a peg, place it in the cross and indeed if they are so good they might take out another peg and pray for the person the intention of the person who placed that peg in the cross and carry it for a week praying for somebody that they do not even know praying before the cross and recognizing the power and the symbol of the cross goes back a long, long time. I have here a prayer. And this prayer was found beside the cross back in the 13th century. It's a very, very beautiful prayer. I'd like to read this prayer for you. O adorable Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, you have suffered death on the cross for our sins. O Holy Cross of Jesus, be my true light. O Holy Cross, fill my soul with good thoughts. O Holy Cross, ward off from me all the things which are evil. 
the Holy Cross, ward off from me all dangers and all deaths, and give me life eternal. O crucified Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me and grant me your protection forever. In honour of the precious blood of Jesus, his death, resurrection and ascension, which lead to everlasting life. Withhold fear and dread from me and give me the grace that I may follow you. Truly written by somebody of deep faith and belief that even when we carry our crosses, Christ helps us along the road. We are carrying crosses now, full of worry and care for so many others. Trust in the cross. Trust in Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from our earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. So with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed to see who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of his 
and up our faith. Through him, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. But through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour are yours forever and ever. Amen. So we call upon God our Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. make a spiritual communion. We cannot physically receive the body of Christ at this time, but we can be at one in mind and heart with him as we pray. Jesus, my Lord and my God, welcome into my heart. I bow down before you, I adore you. O oh my Jesus, I believe in you. O oh my Jesus, I hope in you. O oh my Jesus, I love you. O oh my Jesus, I thank you. O oh my Jesus, I am sorry for my sins, and I will not sin again. Pardon me and help me with your holy grace. Jesus, may I live in you. Jesus, may I die in you. Jesus, may I belong to you. Jesus, may I never be separated from you in life or in death. Amen. And let us pray.
Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. We all need a light moment in our lives and this one may be more relevant than you would imagine because very often we call upon God and when he's doing something for us we don't listen. That is the story of one gentleman who was in the midst of all the flooding there not so long ago and he said, I'm not worried about all this flooding. He said, God is going to help me. So, as he was there and the water was getting higher around him, waiting for God, but a boat came, a little rowing boat, and the man said, get in, I'll save you. Yeah, and no, he says, God is going to save me. So, what could we do? Next thing, a submarine popped itself up under the water. I said, get into the submarine, we'll save you. Man said, no, God is going to save me. Submarine went away. So then a helicopter came out of the sky. And the helicopter said, we lower the ladder so as you can escape. The man says, no, keep your ladder. God is going to save me. So, helicopter went away and at this stage, the man was covered under the water and he drowned and found himself before God. And he complained bitterly to God. He said, I believed in you. You were going to save me. And here I am, drowned in the waters. And God said, you said save me. And I sent a rowing boat. I sent a submarine. And I sent a helicopter, and you refused the help that I had given you. Be careful. When you pray for something and God is responding to you, make sure you are listening and being aware of how much God wants to save you. But he cannot do it on his own. He needs your cooperation too. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>